Hello, Market Club members everywhere. Adam Hewison here, coming to you from the digital studios of Market Club. Well, I just got back from Maui and uh, had a great time in Hawaii. It's nice to get away once in a while, take a break. And uh, But I got back in time to see the collapse of Apple. I should say the fall of Apple. But the reality is the trade triangles, I've got this on the screen right now, you can see quite clearly that the trade triangles picked this up at 104.88, indicating that the market was not strong. You should be out of the market. So it's an indication that Apple was having problems. And the other problem that we saw was right here. And that was the divergence we saw on the RSI. This is the RSI indicator right here. You see how this goes lower like that? Those tops. And look at how the, this sort of, this is just a little bit higher than this. So it failed to make new momentum on the upside, which is another indication. Of course, when it came down below this point here, which is just around here, that would be there, it started to weaken. And of course, below the 50 line, we've talked about the 50 line many times before. That was another strong indication. But our indication was right here on the weekly at 104.88. You can see that over here quite clearly as well. So Apple, for the moment, just stay aside. Uh, it doesn't matter what they have coming out. Just stay aside. We may see a bounce back up to 100 or maybe a little bit higher, but... I wouldn't get involved with Apple right now until the trade triangles tell us it's the right time to do that. Looking at gold, we had a signal to be a buyer of gold. Of course, we use the daily and the weekly. I'm just going to take the daily. You can see the daily came in right here at 1245.97 on the spot contract on a spot. I should say spot gold. It's on a contract to spot gold. But back over the 50 line, it looks to me this whole situation is really just one large kind of continuation pattern to the upside and I think we're going to bust out to the upside. I think the goal can go considerably higher this year. So that's what we were looking for in this market. But generally speaking, all of our trade triangles are all positive. You can see a plus 100 score. You should be long this market. Okay, let's take a look at the Dow. Uh, again, this is a little bit of a concern that we have with the Dow and that is the divergence we're seeing on the RSI. We talked about that on Apple just a few minutes ago, but you can see the divergence right here, this, is, this line is going down. You can see that clearly, and the prices are going up like that. That is not a good sign. We had a daily to get up. Not a big deal, but the one we want to look at is the weekly. If the weekly comes in with a red, we want to be out of this market, period, uh, on the sidelines, watching it very carefully. Right now, it's just sort of choppy, choppy, choppy. You can see the last several days have just been very, very indecisive. It's a battle between the bulls and the bears, and I think uh, right now, it's a sort of a stalemate. This is Amazon who announces Thursday after the close uh, basically what its earnings and growth is going to be. But we're right on the 50 line. We do have a mixed picture. The monthly is negative and the weekly is positive, indicating a sidelines position in this market. If we scope this out further, let's say six months, you can see that Amazon has been quite a bit higher, but it's had a huge break uh, from over 600, almost $700 down to below $500 and then we've come back. So the question is, what's going to happen now? I think for the best part, for the for my money, I want to be on the sidelines. If Amazon's going to be as great as it is, I like, love Amazon, by the way, but technically it's a mixed picture and that means on the sidelines for us. Looking at the NASDAQ, you can see that is sort of really kind of struggling. It's a plus 55 indicating a trading range. We just dropped below the 55, 50 level on the RSI, not a good sign. And also, we are waiting for some sort of sign with our weekly. Once the weekly kicks in, if that goes red, we want to be out of this market. But again, this market has not made a new high, unlike the Dow, uh, which did make a new high. This is really a uh, recovery high, I should say. But this is really hasn't gotten going. And if you scope this out further, you can see there's an awful lot of awful lot of work above this market. And this really looks like cycle-wise, you can just scope this in, and you can see... And if that we're correct, we we'll should have another probable down movement in this market. So let's see what happens. But we're below the 50 line, not a good sign. And as I say, watch the weekly for an indication to move to the sidelines. That's going to definitely be your clue. Pretty much the same pattern in the uh, S&P 500, except we're not below the 50 line. We're just, just above it. And it's sort of meandering along, but you also have this divergence we talked about on the Dow. And then as you can see quite clearly, if we look at this, we're going down, like here, on the RSI, not a good sign, and we've been going up 
in prices, which means it's not being supported by a strong RSI. That's the other thing to look at. But we want to see this indicator right here. If that turns red, we want to be out of the market and on the sidelines. Looking at June crude oil, we had a buy signal today. We put that in on the daily. You can see a bingo. There it is right now, 44.20. So there you have it. Crude oil is on the move up. And if we scope this out further, you can see it's got a very, very nice base uh, that's moving from. It's a really a solid base. And uh, a little bit concerned about the RSI, but uh, let's not worry about that too much. Hey, Adam Hewison here. Good to be back. Every success using Market Club. Don't forget, if you want to leave a comment on our blog, please do so or a question. We're happy to, to answer it as soon as possible. Have a great trading day, everyone.